Yeah, there really is. And as we take a look outside, at least we have good news in the weather department. Those clouds are breaking apart. We're at 57 right now. Cool, clean air coming in. So we are going to have fantastic air quality and we're going to be down in the 60s for our highs. You see with this cloud cover pushing out of the way, we're going to have a couple hours of a break and then more rain is coming in. This is the leading edge of the heart of the storm, which pushes on shore today. So as those clouds break apart, it does make for another fantastic sunrise like we saw yesterday and then another round of rain like we saw yesterday in the afternoon. Even though today is much cooler than yesterday, this is still enough to create the possibility for some thunderstorms today and the possibility for some snow at our highest elevations tonight and then a bit of a break for your Thursday. So let's zoom in and show you what's happening hour by hour here. Just some spotty showers possible this morning and then just like we had yesterday, a good rain for the afternoon. By the time the sun sets, we're sending it up to the mountains where those clouds get stuck and like a sponge, they squeeze the last of their rain out in these overnight hours. This is at 1130. Temperatures starting to fall, so we're trying to get a little bit of a slushy mix. Now this could be accumulating snow for the highest elevations. The top of Bear, Bear Mountain, maybe a little bit there in Alta Sierra, perhaps Pine Mountain Club early tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. By the time the sun comes up at 7, the moisture is gone, so we still have trapped clouds, but it doesn't look like we get a big snow dump out there. I'm just talking about the potential to see a little bit. So for the rain totals, see how here on the valley floor this afternoon, it's about 300 seven inch for Bakersfield. That's what we saw yesterday, so we'll take it. Up in the mountains though, again, getting squeezed like a sponge, most of the rain is falling over the highest peaks, but it will try to turn to some snow. So this is our snowcast forecast that app you can download in the app store and it does show the potential for about a half an inch above Tatchby, probably not down into the valley itself, an inch above the top of Fraser Park, maybe an inch for Pine Mountain Club, a little bit for those highest elevations like uh, Walker Pass in the Isabella region. So we're watching the potential for that snow tomorrow morning. Let me know what you're seeing. I think it's going to be down to about 5000 feet here on the valley floor. Like I mentioned, we're cool and clearing. So on Friday, we're sunny 71. A little more cloud cover, a little breeze. That's ahead of our next storm system. See how it spends all day Thursday and then most of Friday charging down into our area. By the time it gets to us, it's kind of just scooting past, so it doesn't have a lot of energy left, but it does look like some rain for Saturday. It will keep us cooling in the 60s as a result. Drying on Sunday hints toward a chance of rain on Monday, but that system isn't very organized yet, so I'm just watching it. Kern River Valley 61 today, 57 and clearing tomorrow. 67 is much warmer due to that sunshine on Friday, and then clouds increase that afternoon ahead of that rain chance on Saturday in the mountains of Tatchby and Fraser Park. Again, I'm dropping that snow level down to about 5000 feet. I'll call it flurry at pass level sticking at those mountain tops and then on Saturday it looks like just rain probably not snow but I'm watching it coming up here on